Hey guys, it's JKF by Geeker, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing a player review around the French right winger from the Serie A, Icone, or Jonathan Icone, and it is the UECL Road to the Knockouts. I believe this is the Conference League uh, cards that they do get. So there's obviously the Champions League ones, the uh, Europa League ones, and then you've got the Conference League ones, which are these green cards, which I think are really nice card design. But yeah, he's been upgraded uh, because Fiorentina have uh, got through, I believe they've won like two of their three games or something. So I think he actually might be going up to an 86 as well once they've played their third game, which I think the upgrades come out on November the 4th, if I'm correct. Uh, so yeah, he's got a really nice upgrade. Uh, I did use him a little bit his old card uh, for, you know, like five games or something. So you can see he's played 14 games there, but I've actually played uh, nine games with this card uh, and I have scored six goals and got four assists. So yeah, really nice return from my Kone. I've played him in three different positions as well. But yeah, let's get through his player bio quickly. He's five foot nine, high medium work rates, which is pretty good. Uh, left footed with the four star, uh, weak, no, four star skill moves and three star weak foot, which the weak foot is obviously always an issue, especially in this year's FIFA, but uh, he ha does have the outside foot shot trait, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see, he can only play right wing and right mid, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, he's got 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, 84 attack position, which is really nice. 85 shot power, which is one of his uh, biggest pros, I think. Uh, 99 agility, which is absolutely insane. Uh, 89 balance. Uh, the 88 vision and 88 curve is pretty nice as well. And he's got just uh, some really nice all-round dribbling stats as well. And then going on to his traits, he's got the outside, all important outside of foot shot trait, uh, technical dribbler, playmaker, and flair. So yeah, all really nice traits. Would have been nice for him to have the finesse shot trait, but where I mainly liked him, he, you know, he was on the left, so he didn't really, you know, utilize finesse shot traits. As long as you've got the outside foot shot trait, combined with like low weak foot, it's fine. Anyway, let's get into the clips now. As you can see, I did play nine games of him. I scored six goals and got four assists. We was playing the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, predominantly, well, actually, we I was playing the 4-2-3-1 and the 4-2-2 because I wanted to try him in striker for a bit. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying that formation at the moment as well. So uh, yeah, I mainly played him um, uh, in the left cam and striker. But I also did play him in the middle cam as well. I wouldn't recommend him there. Uh, so yeah, uh, I had the uh, dead eye chem style on him, and as I said, best position would be that lamb position in my opinion, just to utilize really utilize his pace because he does feel absolutely rapid in game. Going into his pros. He's got a really nice pace, as I just said, 96 pace on his card, which is absolutely insane. And he actually does feel, you know, right around that pace in game. Players like Vinny, Vinny Jr., who have 95 pace, which is one stat lower than him, he feels like 82 pace in game. So, uh, yeah, for Iconi to feel like this quick, which is really nice, it might be to do something to do with his agility and his balance or something. But yeah, he felt really uh, rapid in game. And actually, it's technically a 96.5 because he's got 97 acceleration. So. Yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, dribbling is his next pro. His dribbling is 90, obviously, on his card, which is insane. And he definitely felt, you know, you know, really high in game. He didn't feel, uh, you know, slow, sluggish on the ball. He felt really quick. It might be due to his uh, 99 agility. So yeah, felt really nice in game, really smooth, really fluid. And I was playing with him when the servers were really like terrible. So I'd like love to actually utilize him when the servers are really nice. I bet he's even better. Um, so yeah, if he can beat the servers, then that's a really good thing. Then his passing was actually, you know, surprisingly good. I really enjoyed his his passing. It probably felt, you know, right around 82. It's not going to, you know, blow you out of the water. Um, his passing was just, you know, really good in game overall, and I did really enjoy using him. A lot of wingers I've used that have like, you know, right that 75 passing and things. It's quite annoying when you're trying to do build up play, but he's, you know, he feels really good on the ball. Uh, so yeah, for the coins, he's you know he's he's really good like you know link up player in your squad as well. And then the next one would be his shot power. His shot power was really nice in game. Uh, I had the dead eye chemistry style, which bumped his shot power up to like 99. So yeah, in game his shot his shooting was so good, so powerful. As you're probably seeing in some of these clips, probably not like does, probably doesn't feel that like 99. But his shot power definitely was really nice in game. So yeah, that was a really nice pro from him. And uh, it. Because he's got that low finishing, having a high shot power, you can sometimes get away with having low finishing. So uh, that's something to look out for. If you've got low finishing and then low shot power, you can really notice his shooting to be awful. But because he's got that really nice high shot power stat, that's actually a really important stat and makes his finishing in game so much better. Because even if he's a little bit inaccurate, uh, goalies just won't be able to save it in time because his shot is so powerful. So yeah, that was a really nice um, thing about him. And then his agility and balance. 
obviously spoken about his 99 agility. He felt really nice in game and he's also got that really uh, important outside foot shot trait, uh, which, you know, obviously using utilizing Travellers, which I didn't actually do m many with him. I don't think I actually scored one. Uh, so, uh, as I said, the servers were really bad and I was playing in foot champs, so it was a double whammy of uh, utilizing this guy, seeing if he was actually good or not. Getting into his cons now, uh, I would have to say it's definitely his three star weak foot that lets him down uh, just a bit. You know, build up play and shooting, it's a little bit annoying, you know, having that three star weak foot. And then obviously, also, four star skill isn't, you know, really ideal, but I think the three star weak foot is actually a con. Yeah, obviously, having the outside foot shot trait makes him still very usable in game. Obviously, my one of my favorite players in this game is Anthony, and he has a three star weak foot with the outside foot, sh foot shot trait. So, yeah, it's definitely still usable. It's something that I don't think should deter you away from using the card. Uh, but something that might do is the next con, which would be finishing. I did find, uh, even though I stated that it's not as a problem with his shot power, a lot of times I was just missing the goal. So, um, I was obviously, that's where it can become a problem if he's too powerful and too, a little bit inaccurate. And it's, you know, it can go off target a little bit more than someone who has higher finishing. So that was a little bit annoying, especially when I was trying to use him in striker. He was, I probably wouldn't recommend him in striker, even though I did score, you know, a few goals with an in striker, but uh, he just wasn't good enough at finishing. Obviously, only having 77 uh, isn't really high enough for, you know, foot champs level striker. So uh, fun fact, I've given him an eight, which is pretty high. He just feels really nice in game. So uh, yeah, a really fun card to use. A value for coins, I've given him a nine, just because he's only 30,000 coins in the market right now. He might go up a little bit, you know, when he gets an 86 upgrade, so it might actually be a really nice card when he gets Maybe over that 80 finishing, he might really be worth picking up, uh, especially because I, I just feel like he might still be really cheap, I don't know why. He might only really go up to you know, 40k max, so I have a feeling he's always going to be a really cheap card. I definitely recommend probably picking him up when he gets the 86 upgrade, uh, but we'll just pick him up now. I mean, he's probably going to go up a little bit um, because people are going to want to get him when, he's, when he becomes an 86. So yeah, right now his card is really nice and it's a considerable upgrade to his 83 rated card, which I did uh, play for five games, so I didn't, I just didn't, really didn't enjoy. So this actually in game feels like a massive upgrade. So yeah, I think that's really nice. Um, he's, I'd say just about foot champs ready right now. I think when he gets an upgrade on uh, in November, then he definitely will be foot champs ready. Uh, but right now he's sort of, you know, I've given him a 7.8. I usually like to think, you know, around this mark towards eight is like foot champs ready, but yeah, I think he's on that barrier of becoming like not foot champs ready and foot champs ready. So yeah, getting into what his card felt like in game, he did feel 94 pace, as I said, right around that 96 pace. Obviously, these sorts of players, if you've got the explosive uh, run style, you just feel a lot slower in game because 80 pace centre backs can just catch up instantly. But no, this guy actually was managing to outpace people, which was nice. Uh, 94 pace, he kind of felt like. And then 88 dribbling uh, as well. So these both these two stats are two points lower than what his card states. Instead, so his dribbling in game did feel really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'd say it's right around the 88 mark. It felt really nice in game. Uh, 80 shooting, two points higher than his card stats. As I said, with the shot power, it felt really nice. It's just his finishing did let him down. So that's why I still would say utilize him in that left wing position. Go for some travellers. Utilize his pace. Cross it into your you know strikers who are going to be able to finish it better. And I think it'll be a really nice striker for you in game. 82 passing and 73 physical. When we mentioned his defending, because uh, because he's an attacker. But yeah, 82 uh, passing. His passing was just really nice in game. Nothing you know crazy. It's just it will just do the job. And uh, yeah, I felt really confident on him with using him on the ball. And then physical, he actually felt a little bit stronger than his card stated as well. He had 62 strength, which I actually feel like he felt more like 70, maybe 75, that sort of area. Uh, but yeah, I really, overall, I actually did really enjoy using Ikone in game. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to let me know which player you would like to see next. And don't forget to give a like, comment, and subscribe in the notification. So you can inspire my videos to go live. And I'll catch you next one.